Good day, YouTubers. Today is day 11 of my journey of Leslie's exercising, positive thinking, and healthy eating. And I'm really excited today. It was a beautiful weekend. And I thank you guys for tuning in. And hope you guys got a chance to see the line dancing that took place this weekend. And it was definitely a great experience to be with the Soul Sisters and all the line dancers from all over Victorville, Las Vegas. Um, Sacramento, Florida, these people can dance, okay? And it was such a positive energy just being able to dance and show your talent and express music and the feeling of just being energetic with music. And a lot of music was the old music that we hardly listen to um, these days. So it was definitely a positive experience and I'm really happy to be in this universe again today. Um, once again, being around positive people really can help you fill yourself with things that maybe you thought you couldn't do and you can see someone else do it and it can make you feel like if they can do it, you can do it. And that was definitely the feeling that I got being there with those women who were all ages, nationalities, and they all got along, no one got into any fights, and it was just beautiful. It was a great unity of black women, and thank you, cousin, for inviting me. I really appreciate it. It was awesome, very positive. I love it. So today, I'm gonna just talk about some things that men have been approaching me with, which is how they can find a woman and how women can find a man. I'm not a love expert, but I did hear, ladies, that your list of expectations or our list of expectations are too high. So what does that mean? Well, basically, these guys, a lot of guys are saying that we want a lot. We want to basically have this list, but what's on your list? How do you feel about you? And what are your expectations of yourself? should really be a list that we need to compile together. Not a list that we want to have for them because basically we're going to make them better. You feel me? So let's not judge men based on a lot of these things that we're doing to find a soulmate. Basically, we probably need to work on ourselves and better ourselves, be good women, go to school, work, educate yourself, Learn how to love your family, your children more. Definitely that's what the path that I'm on right now is bettering myself for my family and for myself. So basically, you know, if you are looking for love, maybe if you don't search so hard, don't put so much on it. Don't walk in trying to get a ring in marriage. Doesn't usually happen like that. Um, I'll be open to a good relationship that's healthy, um, but I'm not looking for one. If it comes, it comes. But I'm focused on myself and the things I'm doing that are good in life right now. And I'm not sure relationship for me right now is, is what it is going to be. But if it comes along, it does. But right now, I'm just on a path for myself. And I think a lot of women could probably try that. Try to make our own paths and make a list for ourselves of what we want and what we need. And maybe we'll just get that from the universe of what we need in return. And we may not need to just keep looking for it. It probably will just come to us. So ladies, let's not have a list of what we expect from men. We, do, we can have a list, but let's write a list for ourselves first. That way we can be compatible with someone and find that person that we're really looking for based on the things that we want and the things that we need. I mean, it's not always going to be a guy that's rich and has everything because he has everything already. So pretty much he can throw you out whenever he wants. Try to build your own foundation for your own self and have your own stuff. And you guys can come together and build some more stuff together. And that might work. God doesn't have to be rich to be with me. But yes, we should be able to come together as a team and build something. So that's what I would like to do. That's my list. Affection. Build something together. And be able to love and be affectionate and be nice and courteous and don't change. A lot of people, we change after we get into relationships and we need to find out how we can keep that spark. So, once again, let's think positive. Let's go in life building our own list for our own selves 
to make ourselves better and something good will probably come out of that and I just thank you guys for tuning in. I really like the line dancing. It made me feel real good about the exercise video that I put together, which I'm perfecting. So get ready. And I just want to thank God for letting me be on this universe again today to make a better place for myself and my family and people who need help. And that's my journey today to go out again and help somebody, whether it's water, food, a conversation, or just a hello or anything that we can do to help others it's great and i'm on that path today on day 12 of my journey of being healthy eating good loving caring and thinking positive thank you very much for tuning in today i'll be back again later on today most definitely don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you later thank you